All right, so this week we are going to learn how to solve systems of equations. Make sure you have this written down in your notes somewhere. Um, this is gonna be a big part of this unit is systems. There's gonna be a lot of different things that we do with it. So kind of the basic um, definition for systems of equations, anytime you have two or more equations that contain the same variables. There also could be a solution to those systems, and that's the point where those graphs intersect. So if you look at my graph over here, I have two equations. So that means I have a system of equations where I have two different equations going on. The pink one, which is 2x plus 2, and the green one, which is x minus 1. And notice that after I graph them, they cross at the point negative 3, negative 4. There are two ways to solve systems. This is by graphing, how I have shown here. There's also an algebra way using substitution, which you will learn next week. We are going to go through four examples with solving systems of equations by graphing. So please make sure that you are taking notes because this can be very complicated. There are a there is a note sheet available for you on the slides if you want to print it out or you have to be creating your own graphs. So the first example here. Okay, notice that I have two equations. The first one is y equals 2x. The second one is y equals negative x plus 3. And the first thing that you need to do when you are solving a system of equations is to find um, a couple points to help you graph it. Now, some of you are probably looking at these and notice that they are in y equals already, both of them. So we could just use the slope and the y-intercept to help us graph the points. Okay, You can decide how you want to solve it. But I like to use points because I think that's easier for me because then I can just draw my line right through them. So what I mean by that is I need to find points that satisfy the equation for x and y. So for example, if I put 0 in for my x value, what does y end up being in this case? Well here, when I plug 0 in for x, I get 2 times 0, so y ends up being 0. If I plug 1 in for x, 2 times 1, we just get 2 for our y value. Okay? I just made random points up. You could put 5 in, you could put 4 in. Okay? I just started off with smaller numbers I think are easier. So if I put 2 in for x, I get 2 times x, so I get 4. Okay, now, we really only need two points in order to draw a straight line, but I just like to do a couple more just to make sure that I did it correctly. So now we're plotting these points. So I'm going to plot 0, 0. I'm going to plot 1, 2, and I'm going to plot 2, 4. And then I'm going to do my best to draw a straight line through them. Okay, and then we move on to the next equation. Okay, and notice that our next equation, we have a negative x plus 3. So we have to make sure we're paying attention to everything here. So for example, let's start with 0. 0 is always a good one to start with. If I plug 0 in for my x value, I get 0 plus 3. So y ends up being 3. Then let's put 1 in. Okay, if I put 1 in, I get negative 1, right, because there's a negative out in front, plus 3, so y ends up being 2. Then let's do another one just to be safe. I'm going to plug 2 in for x, and so when I plug 2 in, I actually get a negative 2 because of the negative in front, plus 3. So then my final for y, I get 1 because negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So then we plot our points. Okay, so I'm going to do 0, 3, so I go up to 0, 3, and I do over 1, up to 
Then I do over two, up one, and I connect those points. Now in this case, it's pretty obvious where they cross. Okay, they cross at a nice point here at, what is that, one, two. So my solution for this system, y equals 2x and y equals negative x plus 3, they will cross at 1, 2.